Demi. It's another European Championships. You've been out there before. Looking forward to a second one with yeah, all the experience. I uh, went to the under 22s and I've come back with a bronze medal. So hopefully now I'm going to the Europeans is obviously a big step up from the under 22s. So hopefully get a medal out there. And you're representing just England, not not full GB, but you're working your way up yeah, to the working, GB squad. Yeah, working my way up to the top. And coming into this year, a four-time national champion, four in a row, yeah, which is it's pretty decent form, isn't it? Yeah, it is amazing. I actually can't believe it's four times that I've won it. But I'm just going to keep going, so there's no one beating me in this country. 48 kilos as well. It's, it's, it's the lightest weight, but... It's not in the Olympics. Not yet. quite, but obviously I imagine you'll have an eye on maybe moving up to 51 and uh, going. We'll see how it goes. Um, I literally sit really comfortable at 48. I think 51 would be too heavy for me, but we don't know what's going to come. If they got me up here, maybe on like a program to see what they could do, if I could go up, if I could, they'll be able to help me with that, I think. And obviously 51 is an Olympic, Olympic weight anyway, exactly. so... Are, are you are you potentially looking to Tokyo or are you thinking no, maybe no. a bit further in the future? No, I think further in the future. I think Tokyo is way too soon. They haven't got 48 and 51 is... I've never boxed 51, so I can't yeah. say. So yeah. maybe maybe looking at the next Olympics are when you're really settled up. Yeah, I think so. If they give me an opportunity to settle in up here and to get going and things like that, then I think yeah, it would be a great opportunity to aim for something like that. Have you fought many of the girls that... You'll be taking on that in the Europeans. Uh, I don't think so. No. So a bit of an bit of an unknown entity. Yeah. But that's a, a test think, in itself, isn't I it? I think it's fine. I don't really like to be honest. I don't really like knowing who I'm going to box. Like if I know you and I've boxed you before, then obviously I'll know you. But I mean, if I haven't boxed you before, it's not really an issue. I'll just listen to the coach and the And some people put too much time into the preparation. Yeah, no, and I don't bother with, with what you're doing. And how easy is it to maintain the weight through the competitions uh, yeah pretty good pretty, pretty, pretty uh, easy yeah because yeah. yeah. we know some people obviously yeah, it's more a battle people, of yeah. keeping the weight than actually getting in the ring yeah I think with me maintaining my weight is literally not a problem I eat three meals a day and snacks no problems at all then really looking, at, looking around here in these gyms there's obviously a lot of well known faces up yeah. on the walls and Definitely. Like I say, you're not you're not really targeting from Tokyo, but maybe if you did get up to 51 kilos, you've got someone like Nicola Adams who's up there twice. That's um, a pretty big incentive for someone to follow in their footsteps, isn't it? Yeah, I think she's a massive inspiration to the sport. I think honestly, people will look up, like people already do look up to her and want to follow her footsteps. But it's just doing it and having that dedication and have that mentality and actually focused on that part. It's 48 kilos of the Worlds as well. 48 kilos is in every competition but the Olympics, right. so it's quite frustrating because yeah. they even have it in the Commonwealth. So it's like, well, if you've got this weight in all the conditions, why have you not matched it in the Olympics? And also, like, it frustrates me because women naturally are quite small anyway, mm. so you would have thought they would have had the lightest weight in the Olympics, but... It is what it is at the end of the day. But um, looking forward for yourself, not just the Europeans, but you've got the Worlds potentially yeah, too. Think, it's going to be busy. I think if uh, the Europeans, this goes really well, which I'm hoping it will, um, then they'll give me a chance to go to the Worlds, which is shortly after. So it'll be really nice. And how will the process be here? Obviously, like I say, you're not a full-time member of the squad yet, but you pick a, mem a medal up at the Europeans, yeah. then pretty much on the way to getting Hopefully, that Hopefully, I, I think, I think, because my weight's not Olympic, they say they don't have the funding things, but I think maybe if they do put me on the programme at 51, and obviously we'll try and build up to that and see how things go and just keep going out on competitions, I think, I think that will slowly, slowly progress to the part of 51, mm. rather than now, because you can't just jump from a weight to a weight, because yeah. it's, it's a massive jump. 
and then two, and then picking up a national title at a second way as well. It's, it's an it's something else. Yeah, as well. yeah. All right, Demi. All the best out there. All right, thank you.